everybody, welcome back. We are actually continuing on a little bit with our Elden Ring Astrologer tonight. It's late. I want to do something a bit shorter, and I think we're going to get back to Final Fantasy tomorrow. But, <clears throat> I want to start getting this guy some good magic, which is kind of leading me down most of the road that we went before. The main difference is I'm not going to warp to Caleb with this astrologer and get the meteorite staff because it has no scaling, despite its high damage. But we are at this cave first because we got to help Bach out because I can't not help Bach out. He's just... He's such a nice guy. Oh... What are you doing here? He just wants to mend my clothes for you free. must leave this place at once. They'll rush in and beat you to a pulp. You'll end up just like me. Oh. What are you doing here? You must leave this place at once. They'll rush in and beat you to a pulp. You'll end up just like me. I think I'll be fine, buddy. Step. need to waste my spells on you. These guys, on the other hand. Well, I could get a sneak on the first one. Guys! We don't need to go down this path.
There you go. Just took some fancy dancing, but we got him. get our way over to that next island without dying. There are a few more in this cave, if I remember correctly, and I don't. Yes, I do. some of that row of fruit. <sighs> Didn't even give me enough for a level, huh? Okay. Dragon heart for those. Ooh, it is a little skull. Nothing. to the east, you'll find the, the Cathedral of Dragon Communion, a place where draconic power gathers. So that's way. I hear you. Found you. Let's get back to Bach real quick.
You'll end up just like me. Wait. Is that what I think it is? You got it back for me. My sewing needle. made you go and do a thing like that? My mum was a seamstress, and that sewing kit was all I had to remember her by. Hmm. I always wanted to be just like sweet old mum. Oh, then I s suppose I, I can't just curl up and die, can I? Thank you. You're very kind. I, then I suppose I... Nope. You can't. No curling up and dying allowed, Bach. Not the best idea I've had. Come on, shield boy. Ooh, not that hard, though. You don't have to... There you go. go back there and get anything else from Kale right now. Part of my OCD wants me to get the note that tells me where to go to get my, uh, <laughs> my flask of physic, but I really don't need that. Oh. In that case. Let's actually start putting a little bit of faith up there. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's get the mind to 20. We'll get the faith up to 10. And the arcane up to 10 next. I actually want to give this character some decent arcane, too. try see if we can kill that uh, 
fucking Nazgul wannabe. We'll see what happens. They can be tricksy. But I'm pretty sure we got them. That is a waste. I, oh, oh, God! I forgot that you guys do that to my horse. Asshole. That's right, you cower. Yeah, the fact that he kind of stops or slows down significantly when you're casting on horseback makes it a little bit challenging. Oh, what the fuck? Thank you, gentlemen, for not being very aware. Needed that to get my stuff back. Thank you. All right. You tried. Wait, there's a somber smithing stone over here by the by this stuff. Yeah, right here. I don't really need to assault the caravan because I don't really need what's in there. I'm here for Selen and the magic village thing with all the flowers.
Okay. Got me. Oh, you got me again. And again, not enough for a level. Hello, you. Tarnished, are we? No wonder you should turn up here. I am Selen, a sorcerer, quite plainly. Why are you here? To learn sorcery, of course. Ah. A yen for glimstone sorceries. Well, your aptitude does appear... passable. But one must choose one's masters wisely. I was exiled from the Academy of Rea Lucaria. As a reviled, apostate witch. Do you still wish to learn from me? Yes. <laughs> well, you are a piece of work. Very well. You are now my protege in glimstone sorcery. You have no Time idea what I see through my celestial eye. Words. Never. Anticipate grievances, young apprentice. All right, what do you got for me? Already using that. Already using that. Would not mind that. Or that. Or that. Hmm. Yes, indeed. Hmm. Yes, fight. Okay, well, first off, I don't have any... Not enough, really, to do anything with. So... Hi. buddy. Okay, what else we got here?
I'll go wherever. Yeah, I thought so. I was supposed to kill you all in one shot. Well, that was fast. Coastal cave, huh? They already went right ahead. Oh, they are also playing a magic user. Oh, they ain't wasting any time. Just bullied this guy with magic. My God. Yeah, that was a fun little quickie. Did not really give me a whole lot in terms of experience. really need you. Uh, that is very much death. Or can I? No, you can't land on that spot without getting like horribly just screwing up your day. Graveyard full of consumable runes somewhere around here, and yes. There's 
one more. Oh, and a noble! Ex-noble. I was very ignoble to him. Oh, he gave me a staff. Isn't that adorable? get a scroll to learn more spells from there. I also want to hit this bonfire. I realize I should have done that first. What's done is done. Actually, since we're even just right here... I don't care about you guys over there. What I want is to all these guys. Oh, well, <laughs> we'll do this in a minute then. Sir? Which way do you want to go? Which one we go? Which one we kill? Also, when we get back, I'm going to go and grab my um, golden seed north of the gate towards where Godfrey is, or where Margit is, just so I can get an extra charge. I actually prefer the additional charge. There you go, buddy. This is his first run through this place. He's got a neat little getup.
also should go to the uh, church market to get my flask of physic anyway, because then I can also level up the potency of my flasks. It's a lot I can do real quick here to, to get stronger. And play it fast enough to, uh... We play it a bit faster than I've been going. I've been going at kind of a slow pace, but... I like going at my own pace. me take the easy way down while you rough it. Is there something over there that I didn't get? Ta-ta! Okay. Um, yeah, still not a whole lot of soul. Well, we got everything back. And since I'm right here, I do want to do this. And get that scroll from the village on the other side of this. To give to Selen. So that way we at least have some stuff getting set up. See if we can take on this bloodhound. The way that we are currently. going to be a lot of baiting his attacks.
just realized where my elf was at. Ooh. Bye. One of my favorite weapons. In fact, a weapon that carried me through the entirety of my Faithless run. Chat hasn't been popping up for me. I just noticed y'all were there. There we are. And yes, co-op is something I live for in these games. Uh, Xfang8. And thank you for uh, for joining us and having a chat with him as well, Mr. Drew. I'm mid at the PvP, mid to shit, uh, but I love my co-op. But yeah, thank you both for joining us. What the heck is going on with my chat? <laughs> there we are. But yeah, no. We just, uh... That was the first boss to kill me. So far that I've fought. But I've pretty much just been fighting... Bosses in caves. And next, we're gonna go and get that scroll... Out of the village. I wonder if I... Hang on one second here. Well, you see, that's the fun. The more you get summoned, just the more practice you get. And then you forget who you've done in your own game. Because you are just that much of a sun bro. In all things. You turn into a ring bear, don't you? Yep, totally. Run away! That was actually a mistake. Nowhere near ready to take that one because that one is harder than the ones in the woods. Anyway, where were we? Yes. We have a village to assault and pillage. need to be firing at me. I'm just here for a few things. You don't have to be doing your thing trying to stop me. It'd be much easier for you if you didn't. Hi. No! Look. I know you want to show off how much you're worth it to whoever employed you to stand up there and help people with spells. But it's not happening. And the reason it's not happening is because of this. That's exactly what I was looking for.
Oh, you've been doing uh, some Melania cosplaying, have you? Yeah, no, I, I just um, actually completed a run off stream that I did Faithless. It was an attempt to solo every boss in the game. So, no spirit summons, no summons, and no faith, which means my buffing options are limited as fuck. Um, managed to do it with every boss except for Melania. I just do not have the patience to solo Melania. I always get too greedy and pay for it. Wow. You are more badass than the soldier of Godric, and he's the hardest fight in the game. It, it always is funny when they pull the snipes out. But he was guarding the one I needed, so. One second here. My Twitch is still acting up a bit. Those streamer problems. My very first playthrough, I ended up using my spirit, some my mimic tier, as a crutch. I really did. But you know what? Soloing pretty much everyone, except for Melania, in this game has really driven home the point that, especially around the back half of this game, like once you beat the fire giant, I would say, every single boss you encounter is almost meant, like, built in a way that it's meant to be played with more than one person. Just because of the intense amount of aggro, incredible amount of damage they can do. Like, it almost feels more like you are meant to just bring friends or use the spirit ashes that the game gives you. to uh, Sorceress Selen's illusory persona. Yeah, and really, that's what, it's, what it all comes down to, is splitting the aggro of the boss. Like, it just, it changes the dynamic of fights so much. And... This game, in particular, seems more geared in the way that they're encouraging you to play with friends. And, you know, I think that's a really cool thing for them. Like, one of the things I love for anyone who plays this game on PC is the fact that they have the, uh, the mod that allows you to just play together. Full game in co unbroken co-op. I was supposed to kill all. Okay. Yeah, and it, it apparently it's a lot of fun, Mr. Drew. You can also set the mod so that you can't be invaded or set it so that you will allow invasions. So you can even, like, play a complete co-op without having to worry about, like, griefers and phantoms that, you know, are coming in knowing they're going to take on a group of three to six people. Uh, I am a dirty bonker, X-Fang. Um, Young I 
Playing magicians is rare for me, and this is the first um, from game that's really given me a magic set that I've wanted to sink my teeth into. Like, I like the magic in Dark Souls, but I don't like using it. So, um, I mainly am a great sword wielder, and like, as soon as they gave me double great swords in this game, uh, you know, went for that. So, like, Strength Faith, Strength Int builds are fun for Elden Ring for me. Um, but at the end of the day, yeah, I, I tend to lean on filthy bonkers. Oh, is that a Takes me back to my academy days. Very well. Hmm, this is sorcery with which I'm not entirely unfamiliar. Mm -hmm. I'll be sure to incorporate it into one of your lessons. Never lose that inquisitive spirit, my apprentice. Claymore is still probably, like, my favorite weapon series-wide. <laughs> and again, with my primary Elden Ring character, the Vagabond that I rolled first, it carried me through the entirety of the game. I will buy that now, please, and thank you. Uh, I really need the armament. Like, I guess, like, it helps with int. I'd rather that. What do I need? I need two more points of int to actually use them. I'll grab the glint stone stars for now. And then I need three points for the crystal barrage. I run one, but I never use it. Um, but I, I probably will get the shield buff in a little bit. Like, since you do... Since you are more of a magic user, X-Fang, like, what are some specific spells that you usually like to go for in Elden Ring? And, you know, I'm going to be putting points in my faith as well, because I want to use certain buffs, and I'm a sucker for pyromancy. But, uh, you know, like, as a caster, what are, what are your some kind of, like, go-to um, spells and go-to weapons as a, as a magic caster? Like, your favorite magic weapons in the game. It's funny that you mentioned daggers, because... Part of my plan with this was to go and get the Renubia. Which means I will probably put some points into Arcane. Oops. Uh-oh. That ain't no good. I have a torrent. I can bully you all. Yeah, I'm gonna get you. Mm. I'd rather do the rest of those guys with magic. It takes too long. You. Karian Slicer and the Gavel of Hyma, huh? Well, you know. The last time I kind of futzed around with an astrologer, of, I think the one that we're talking about is the same. Carrion slice. Yeah, no, I I was re I was definitely uh, fucking with that quite a lot. That was actually my horseback go-to. 
with the uh, other. I just need more spell slots. So we need to hit that round table hold, get some memory attunement going. But first, Golden Seed. No, thank you. Okay, thanks, bye. And same with all y'all. Thanks, but no thanks. Why did I bother? Oh! That was a... <laughs> yeah, and... Frenzy is, is kind of another way that this character is going to end up going because I intend to get the uh, Three Fingers ending. I've uh, only beaten the game twice so far because there are so many other games that I also enjoy playing and can only devote so much time. But, uh, yeah, no, I've uh, first time I beat it, I uh, gave it to Ronnie and... Uh, second time I gave it to Fia so this time I'm just giving in to the chaos shut up there that's how that was supposed to go the first time thank you for the smithing stones those will come in handy That's what I wanted. You know what? We're gonna take it up to Margit just so we can unlock the round round table hold. We don't intend to beat him, and I am not fighting the Crucible Knight right now. Into <laughs> Spiral shard. You get the spiral shard near uh, Rhea Lucaria, if I remember correctly. And, oh! How did I not see you? Roar all you want. I have the power of backing up slowly and raining glint stone upon you. Arrow's Reach Talisman. There was no reason for me to stop in here. But since I'm here, I may as well stab something in the butt. I do loves me my ashes of war like as I was I, the main two things I was using with my faithless run um, was the death's poker which of course has the ghost flame on its uh, on its ash of war and God was that oh my god was that thing overpowered um, but of course my main was the Bloodhound Curved Greatsword. 
which I just got earlier this stream, of course. And, um, like, that, that hop back on the L2 for, for the Bloodhound Greatsword, it, oh, oh, it's chef's kiss. It's great for repositioning, it does a lot of damage, it's a high bleed attack, like, it, everything good about it, everything. The death poker is your go-to hint weapon. I can see why. Like, I will I will always go and cheese that death bird to get that thing. You're all on your own, are you? And heading to Stormvale Castle. Enticed by the one in the white mask, I suppose. Oh, you've come to be one with the spider? Well, that makes us two peas in a pod. But I don't have your courage. It's scary, you know, having your arms cut off, or legs, or your head. I want to be like everyone else, but I'm just too scared. I'm nothing but a craven. Yeah, I could understand why you'd be heavily reliant on the sword Can sorceries. One along with you? And, you know, I'm really glad they put those in this game, because that is what kind of makes a sorcery heavy build more viable for me and uh i've i've seen the carrion piercer used i know exactly what you're talking about so i'll definitely be adding that one in thank you for that the poor thing deserves someone braver than myself and the spirits look rather fondly upon you it'll be glad of your company i think the little one Sure, we'll uh, we'll bring in the jellyfish. Why not? It was a pleasure to see you. Oh, can you pass on a message for me? If you see the little chrysalids in Stormvale Castle, tell them I love them, and that despite my craven heart, I'm sure I'll be joining their club soon enough. I'm finally getting the hang of this whole pain thing, you know? Oh, she is such a coward. Alright. I'm gonna just rush up to Godric and die, or not Godric, Margit and die, so we can unlock the round table hold. I do like the jellyfish shield. I've used it mainly for jokes in the past, but uh, you know, I with the buff it has, I, I can definitely see how it would be viable. Yes. Upon the cliff in Castle Stormvale is a shard bearer, a demigod, who inherited a fragment of the shattered Elden Ring. If the rays of grace signal the castle, then the Elden Ring 
beckons you. As an ally by pact, I pray that you are fit to face the challenge presented by the ring. Upon the cliff, a demigod. If the rays and the elder has an eye, I pray to face. Right. Hey, where's my? Oh, I was a fool. jellyfish there. See you later, jerks. You know what? We're just going to uh, reset y'all. How does that sound? Oh, you... You little bitch. See, like, we didn't have to do this, but y'all's insisted. Yeah, I, uh, typically I, I always allocate the up on my D-pad to, uh, Torrent and down to Rune Arcs. If I'm heavily using Rune Arcs at the time. Me. I'm searching for my purpose, given to me by my mother inside the Erd Tree, long ago, for the reason that I yet live, burned and bodiless. There is something for which I must apologize. I've acted the Finger Maiden, yet can offer no guidance. I am no maiden. My purpose was long ago lost. That's okay. That's okay, Melina. You know what? Screw it, sure. Come on in with me, Rogier. I have never summoned him before. Oh, Rogier's your boy, huh? Foul tarnished. In search of the Elden Ring. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. Hello, Marge.
Rouge here is going in. I didn't realize you were coming for me! See, that would make sense as well. I've just, from like long-term souls training i'm just used to keeping my estus right there you know we're gonna we're gonna do that again i think i think we can do him i think we might be able to do marge it's just like he got me on a on a technicality i didn't realize he was jumping for me until it was too late had i i would have remembered to roll forward Fuck him up, boys. I want to I think I want to do a bit more damage to him. So I think we're going to take the licks and continue going after our uh flask of friends our Estus physic flask o physic So you know what actually that'd be the closest one Alright, also. Forgive me. I've been testing you to see whether or not Grace truly does guide you and whether you are fit to face the challenge that entails. It seems my worries were unfounded. Torrent had your measure from the very start. Whereas I merely pretended. There is but one other thing I can do to offer you guidance. I can take you to the round table hole, gathering place of tarnished champions, guided by grace. Yes, yes, you can. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. And I also plan to go and talk to one Mr. Kenneth Height, who is a dick, but he gives me important stuff. There we are. We are here now. I'll see you later. Three thousand, huh?
I don't think I have enough. Definitely not. But that's not going to stop me from just using them anyway. Oh, so close. You know what? I think I have some stuff I could sell and I could get that memory stone. Ah, hello. You must be new here. I'm, well, just call me Dialos. The honor of one's house holds little import in these lands. By the way, have you met a young woman named Lanya on your travels? She's my servant, but fickle as the wind. Take your eyes off her for but a moment, and she's good as gone. If you find her, please be sure to tell me. Funny enough, I killed Kenneth in my first playthrough as well, but I didn't kill him upon our first meeting. I killed him upon, like, liberating his keep, and he was like, I promise you a knighthood. And then he's like, I can't give you a knighthood. So I killed him. Yes, there is a yes, and the there's also some flame of frenzy spells in the Weeping Peninsula. So, I was intending to go there for sure. Be sure to tell me if you meet a young woman named. She's a servant. She's been my companion. I've lost count of the number of times I've had to. Honestly, she's such a little tomboy. Thanks, Dialos. You will forever be an asshole. Anyway. if I want to start scaling that one yet. I need a hug. Greetings, great champion called by grace. I am Fia. Circumstances have compelled my stay at the round table home. Great champion, would you allow me to hold you? But briefly, perhaps you might share with me some of your lively vigor and your stout heartedness doing so will grant me the warmth of a champion and you i am sure will bear a balderkin's blessing do you think it vulgar perhaps where i come from it is a sacred act dialos has a slightly fun if not petty quest line but uh i will say this his armor, while almost my thing, that helmet of his is like my favorite helmet in the game. It looks so bloody cool. Ah, my thanks, great champion. Quick, hug me. I need 10% less hit points. You are it's 10 or 15 Very percent cool. less. I think it's 10. What you felt light up inside you was a Baldekin's blessing. Though it is but a fleeting thing, I am afraid. Come back to me. Should you require another, I will take you in my arms as often as you need. Oh, right. That, that's why I originally wanted to go talk to, uh, to Buddy Boy. Back already. No matter. Yeah, <laughs> I do not need three pickaxes. Memory stone achieved.
I see you've just arrived. Welcome to the Round Table Hold. I'm Corin, a man of the cloth. I teach incantations. The strength granted us by the two fingers. Oh, my favorite is with the horns as well. Order, so that one day, if a tarnished of the Round Table Hold should become Elden Lord, I might counsel them, ensuring order regains its proper form, writing rule over men. By the way, do you still see it? The guidance of grace. I do. Wonderful news. Most tarnished are blind to it these days. You are something of a rare breed. Well, what do you say? Care to learn an incantation of the two fingers? What do you have again? You do have some good stuff there. May the golden order shine through you. Right, and Sir Fuck Off near. Oh, this is a rare occasion. I can't remember the last time a new tarnished made their way to the round table. Very well. As your senior, I bid you welcome. It is safe here. You may let down your guard. Allow me a word of advice. As your senior, you are a mere visitor to the round table. Nothing more. A house guest. Yet to earn their keep. Remember your place, newcomer. There's nothing left to say. Thank you. So to be at my leisure, we're going to do one of two things. So... Yeah, I thought so. <sighs> You. I actually never altered the the Hoslo helm to take off the horn, so I didn't know you could do that. Ouch. <laughs> eh. You know what? We're back here, we're back here. I'll go I'll kill him later. Also, I have a third memory slot. What am I doing? All right, next up, Flask of Physic and upgraded flasks in general.
It has. Here, you rude bastards. Much better. Oh, it's right there. For y'all. Hello. Is anybody there? Someone who might be interested in rescuing the great petty fight. Servant to the king of the Lucky I keep running out of magic. Is anybody there? Someone who might be interested in rescuing the great Kenny Pike. Servant to the true order and celebrated repudiator of the Pope. Oh, grant me sucker! Unfortunately, I don't think anyone here wants to grant you any kind of sucker. Although I'll give you something you can sucker on. Servant to the true order. Ah, you've come to lend me your aid, have you? Well, that's that's very kind, but um No. No, the help is very much appreciated. Even from a tarnished. Despite appearances, nobility is no prerequisite to serving the true order. You might have heard of me, Kenneth Height. Next in line is the rightful ruler of Limgrave, Young Tarnished. I would have a boon of you. I want you to take back my fort. It lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. A knight commander from Stormvale took it. A fool! 
and plumb mad to boot. Simply obsessed with blood. What are you waiting for? A kiss goodbye? My ford lies to the south, beyond the mistwood. Take it back for me. Oh, I see. You wish to know the reward? Fret not. The great Kenneth Height is known for his considerable largesse. The celebrations will Are you be coming on to me, Kenneth? Upon the dawn of my fort's retreat. I don't know about this largesse you speak of, but it sounds like you have some undertones with that. I will say, man, the advantages of being a mage in certain situations. Like, damn. Yes. Yes. I'm not going to kill Kenneth right now. I might kill him later. Spoken echoes linger here. Words of Queen Marika. Who vanished long ago. If you wish, I will share them with you. Sure. Very well. In Marika's own words, my lord and thy warriors, I divest each of thee of thy grace. With thine eyes dimmed, ye will be driven from the lands between. Ye will wage war in a land afar. Where ye will live and die. Well, perhaps that might serve you in lieu of a maiden's guidance. There we are. Shall I turn your let my hand share them with me? Don't think you can. Your thoughts. Oh, we are so close. Your ambitions. The principle. Lay these foolish ambitions to rest. I did not pick up any now. Okay. And again, since we are here... Actually, no, nah, I don't need to go see Gronk yet. I ain't even met D. I like to do things in some sort of order. Even though I don't really need to. It is fun being a mage. I think 
we may as well just go get the uh, Mistwood map fragment and uh, then just kind of go across the bridge, really, because, you know, South Limgrave has enough stuff to make me happy. I should go kill that Tibia Mariner up there and talk to D anyway. Also leads to Alexander. Sifting through bear shit. Yeah, D, D is fun in a lot of ways. I did have to kill him. Well, no, Fia kills him. I had to kill his brother for killing Fia the last in my last playthrough. It was the principle of the thing. Oh, right. You know what? We're going to take the minute long elevator just so I can get the checkpoint there. Where's the damn seed? There it is. Ah, <laughs> uh, everybody, everybody loves the D at least a little bit. Not me though. I like it a lot. getting a bit ahead of ourselves here. Also, I'm going to say it. If there is any reveal in the last, like, five, six years worth of gaming that I would want to relive without any prior knowledge of what was going on, it is this one. Like... Finding this for the first time was just so freaking incredible. And it still is, like, probably the most visually striking area, if not the most visually striking intro to an area in this entire game. Oh, I don't want to be that close to you guys. Ooh. That does not do a lot of damage yet, either. Okay, bye. We'll deal with y'all later, as I said. I mainly just wanted to come down here to open up the checkpoint.
we will definitely be back down here later because those spectral reindeer are like some of my favorite bosses in this game. They're not that hard. They're just bloody beautiful. Ooh, is it now? That is good to know. But now, no. Uh, well, I guess we should take the minute-long elevator back up, because the closest checkpoint is the Church of Marika. So we can teleport to up there. I just want to put a bit more power behind what this guy is doing. Also, would you suggest I bother leveling up the astrologer staff at all, or should I save my blacksmithery of staffs for a later weapon? I was considering getting the the meteor staff from Kaled, but it just like it has no scaling. Oh wait, no, it's not that it has no scaling, it's that it doesn't level or something. I can't remember what was, like, the catch with it. It's like a good crutch for a starting mage. You just have to go to get trapped in Kaled for a little bit, but, uh... Ultimately. Not the most worthwhile. In the long run. Nice little ambush you guys tried to play. Ow! You know, they could have done worse. Oh, we are closing in on that level. And the goodest boy in all the lands between. Right, it's asleep, so I can just, uh... Hi! The nice thing about you is you can't come down here. <coughs> yes! So, you know, may it might be worth going and just... Grabbing the meteor staff real quick before going into the Weeping Peninsula. Because it is pretty easy to just, like, speed run your ass out of that dungeon that you get warped into. Where'd he go? You know what? It can continue its rampage. Fighting rune bears right now is not something I'm about. Nor is going to that merchant something I'm about. I have other things to spend my soul on. Boys, 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 boys. You will all have a turn. Ooh, a 
Falchion. Those are always fun. Right, there is also another golden seed up there, too, now that I think about it. And being able to have three and three would make me happy right now. so much I still want to do. I need a bit more int for things, so we'll put the, putting the, uh, the Faith and Arcane leveling on hold for a little bit. And let's make that magic a little bit heavier. And let's go get that Golden Seed. Why did all the rest go over his head? That did not make a lick of sense to me. Ow. Who said he was allowed to be that good with a crossbow? Whip out the crossbow. There we go. We got what we came for. Is there anything other than just a shot of Kaelid back here? No. No, there is not. As a boss, killed him no problem. On the field, didn't even land a proper hit. Hmm. I spear Ash of War on that, huh? Renala's staff? Okay. Demi-human queen stuff. Okay. Well, I'll be going to sell you kind of soon. Yeah, Roxling is a lot of fun. Hello, the furry Canadian. It was a GG indeed. But now we can also go and get our stuff and 
level up our charges a bit. Perfect. Three and three. I like that. Let's let our pumpkin-headed friend go first. He can go that way. In fact, he can just go that way entirely. No, keep going. Keep going. You don't see me sneaking up on this guy and giving him the old how's your father? That guy saw. Okay. You know what? We're here. Screw it. Let's go in. Right, the demi-humans don't move in until after everyone else is gone. You dirty rat! Is there anything under here other than... No. was an ambush. Thank you for replenishing my stuff, you dirty rats. Oh, hello. Bastard.
No! I have souls up there that are worth getting. You also being rather rude. I don't think I have that set up to do anything yet. Anyway. Good. Revenge, all that. Thank you for killing a demi human, I guess. May as well go inform Kenneth Height that uh, his castle is liberated. <whistles> While bullying these poor sods. to recapture my fort. Oh, excellent news. Just wonderful. And the knight's dead to boot. Well done, my friend. Well done indeed. I knew I was right to trust you. Now, here's your reward, as promised. Go ahead. It's all yours. I am playing on PS5, X-Fang. If you are also on PS5, I am always down for jolly cooperation. Right then. Time for me to head to the fort. I've much to do. First, I'll have to re-establish communication with the Demi-Humans. What's that look? You don't believe me? Well, under the Erd Tree, co-mingling with the Demi-Humans is made possible. Even the Vulgar shall not be left behind under the rule of true order. Which is why I, Kenneth Height, next in line as the rightful ruler of Limgrave, have sworn to uphold it. Just you watch, my friend. Just you watch. Ah, yes. Would you like I see bright things in your future, stout warrior? Enter into my service and learn the workings of the Erd Tree's true order. And who knows? Perhaps sometime down the line, the grace of gold will return to those tarnished eyes of yours. What say you? A fine accord, is it not? No, the Honda that the uh, the Sight of Grace chick gave me is a fine car. I do not need your used Accord. Excuse me? Oh, such foolishness have I never seen. Well, not that I can't sympathize with your choice. Such a miraculous manifestation of felicity is like to startle one such as yourself. Should you change your mind, do visit me at my fort. Right. Anyway. Excuse me.
Do I really not have another one closer to... Oh well. You know what? That's fine. Because we're gonna just... South. Group tunnels. This is the best place to go from. Ah, I see, I see. Well, if I remember correctly, there is a yes, there is. I don't care about your flies or your dragon. Yes. Okay. That's right. Bully each other. That was close. Ow. the head. Ah, you must be the new tarnished. You do well to steer clear of a deal like fledgling. Dragon roost there, and it's as fearsome as it is majestic. So, unless you're mad or wish to be burned alive, stay clear of the lake. Don't be a fool. Turn back before it's too late. Don't. Thanks for your concern, buddy. I did not realize I had that many runes. Well, that's good. Okay. 
couple things we want to do here real fast. That is one of them, but not quite yet. Only because I need your bloody heads to build anti-poison stuff. And that one didn't even drop a head because it was rude. I'm not even bothering to kill them while they're down, so I'm just going to run past them all. They can stay there. They are not why I'm here. I hate those things. You! You are why I am here. waiting for you to come in. Yeah, no, I, I pretty much do everything on my PS5. I, my PC is not capable of uh, running a game like Elden Ring.
That works. <laughs> handy, Andy. Hey. Ryan. You done all your killing already? You just wanted us for an easy ass time with the boss, I guess? Nobody bothered to jump off, so... What, do you not know where you're going, Handy Andy? No, he knew. He just... Like, why... Uh, maybe it's because I find this one to be a ridiculously easy boss. Mm, yes, indeed, quite. Thanks for the rune arc, boys. Hey. I actually like that look. So yeah, we'll we'll kite and armor it up for a little. Personal belongings, huh? You steam 
Good old patches. Out, have you? <laughs> I knew you would. You're a man of reason. True and true. <laughs> Looking way less pointy than you do in Dark Souls 3. Ah. Well, what do you know? You're tarnished like me. Now, now how did I get that wrong? I took you for a demi-human or some such. <laughs> but an innocent mistake, I assure you. Well, water under the bridge. Now we're squared up. How about we play nice from now on? Sure. A man of reason. Just what I like about you. I'm Patches. Patches the untethered. Tarnished like you, only free-spirited. Nomadic, you might say. Only for now, those retired soldiers turned bandits. And they're paying for my gruel. In exchange for my, well, showing them the ropes. But honestly, this looting racket is bloody terrifying. Frankly, I'm ready to wash my hands clean. Maybe set up a legitimate shop. So don't be a stranger. I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. <laughs> you do not wheel and deal. Gavlan wheel. Gavlan deal. Don't forget to pop back for another visit, friend. I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. What did I just say? Sit down here and go talk to Nereus. Or not Nereus, uh, whatever the fuck. I can't remember. That's his name. Hunter of bloody fingers. Tarnished. Held in thrall by cessblood. Zealots. Who stalk their own. You stay the path. You're certain to face more of them. Just remember. No kinship with their elk remains. Their madness precludes it. Stay your blade. Only doing this because we are literally right here. And we can knock it out pretty fast.
I really like how little MP that blade actually uses. I'm not really feeling the triple. got caught in the wall pretty much oh give me the opportunity to do something real quick first off Is that what I thought so? God, he is so easy. <laughs> Waiting very patiently, which is why I gave them a death mired in patience. They were very polite in the end. There, now I can actually learn everything that Selen has to teach me. What do I need in terms of Arcane to be able to use the Reduvia? Thirteen. And 13 decks. So, I'm going to have to spend some points that way soon. Okay. 
Where was... Right there. That is what being a little bit over cocky gets you. Bad dog. I love how the villagers in here actually are worshipping a gil. the room with all the rats. It's in here, right? No. Yes! Oh, I thought it was more than one rat. Anyway, we all know why we're here. Oh, here's the multiple rats. Thanks for the rune arc, rat. Run the fuck away. Because <laughs> so underleveled for this nit for this uh, friggin' cave. Away we go. I care not for any of you.
I'm here for one reason and one reason only. And we are going to beeline for that reason. Do not need to fight Millicent in the swamp right now either, so we're going to stay up here. Y'all's ain't quite worth the, the time. What the? Them, on the other hand, they're worth a few souls. Out. Yeah, it would be nice to have that poison sorcery for sure. our rock sling. Not quite. Unless... Yep. Unless it's one of those walls that you gotta hit 50 times. Just got to get the,
There we go. Now we've got a full armor set that looks nice. There we are. Noticeable difference. All right. Go that way. And again, we do not need to fight Millicent in the swamp. There's the Scarlet Flower. Not gonna go fight uh, Commander O'Neill either. No Commander Red O'Neill for us today. What are you? Oh, you, it's a marionette that's just doing a little thing. Oh wait, we needed a dex of 13, and then we need the arcane up as well. you are. Shall we commence the lesson? I'll burn all these. We'll see what we can get from her. Looking like one thing. Maybe two. You wish to continue the lesson? Very well. I have time aplenty.
Look at that. Look at that. And then I'll come back for the weapon and sword enchantments. stone pebble for now, but I just want to remind myself Yeah, no, I'm not I'm not gonna use that one very much, I don't think bit of gravity magic. Alright, well, it is almost 3 a.m., so it's getting pretty late. I was able to stay up a little bit later because I had a pretty good nap earlier today, but I think this is where we are going to uh, actually end up calling this stream for tonight. <laughs> Can't use it. <laughs> But this has been a blast. Thank you to everyone who joined in. X-Fang, Mr. Drew, always great to have a chat. And, uh, you know, great to uh, hear you sound off as well, X-Fang. If you're around again, as you can see, I always like to have a good talk. But, yeah. Carrion Phalanx sucks, but once I get the Great Blade Phalanx, it's way better. Hmm. Okay. Ah! Thank you very much for following as well. Um, so this Elden Ring run, I will be doing intermittently. The main game I'm doing right now, of course, is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I'll be back with more of that tomorrow. But uh, this was just some fun that I was intending to have mainly for like 45 minutes, an hour tonight. And it ballooned into a good almost three hour stream. But we got a lot done. And now we are ready to head into Southern Limgrave. So, yeah, we'll do that next time we pick up Elden Ring. But tomorrow, it's all about exploring the area outside of Junon. So that's what we'll be doing. Join us for that. X-Fang, Mr. Drew, you both have a great night. And we'll see y'all next time.